Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another Starman Debates. I am your host, Evan. With me is Billy, Cody, and David. Woo! Hey, everybody. Greetings to everyone. And guys, before we get started, let's go around the room. What's everyone playing or watching? Um, I've been pretty much binge watching Shameless on Netflix. Okay. And good show. Funny and uh, does have a serious moment. Premise? Um, Chicago family from the south side. Uh, drunken, uh, drug addict father. Okay. So, hilarity ensues. Jody. I've been really just doing nothing. <laughs> All right, David. <laughs> <laughs> I've been flip flopping, so I'm no help. Between just various oh, stuff. Oh, various stuff. Yeah. All right, well, and I've been trying to get Bloodstain to work. <laughs> With the emphasis on trying. Six hours, still slow as molasses. Jeez. Tried so, everything suggested to me. Slow mo simulator. Pretty much, it's very slow motion, and it makes the combat a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. Hopefully they'll release a patch for that. Hopefully, or hopefully someone finds a fix for it. Yeah. But, anyways guys, today's topic is grinding and farming. Is there a difference? Believe it or not, there slightly is. Wow. <laughs> so, first of all, let's go over what the definition of finding gr grinding means. Is that when the chick grinds at your bar? I knew you were going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> and no. Because, <laughs> yeah. Traditionally, grinding means building up experience points to gain levels. Traditionally. In the most compact sense, it means doing a repetitive task over and over again to gain resources to make the game less hard, difficult. Yeah. Or to make you overpowered. Or to make you overpowered. Usually you do this for money, experience points, anything that boosts your character before you have to go to the next area. Yeah. And farming is along the same lines. The only difference I could find between the two is farming is more of a voluntary choice and grinding is more a forced choice. Yeah. Okay. Meaning, in the context of most people say, I have to grind mm. for the next area. Where most people say, I'm going to farm for the next area. No. So, slight difference in wordplay, but they both really yeah. mean the same thing in my mind. Yeah. So, the main question is, why is this a thing? Yeah, I... Now we need to answer that one. Well, it's a little... Well, balancing a game is tricky. That is true, David. <laughs> Some people welcome the challenge, other people don't. It's... Like I said, it's hard to please everyone. Yeah. So, you'll find this in games where um, there's a difficulty spike, we'll say. And some people welcome that difficulty spike and try it at whatever level they're currently at. And other gamers who don't really like to play for the challenge will be like, no, I'm just going to go and kill these things for half an hour, and then eventually I'll try to take on that when I yeah. feel good and ready. Like me, I am known as the king of grind. Okay. Spent maybe two hours grinding up to level 100 in Dark Souls before even like really tackling anywhere in Dark Souls. Yeah, it kind of happens for that game. You don't. You really don't. No, really. No, okay, this is the same, but... Dark Souls is kind of one of those games where your stats don't really matter. Oh, yeah, so the game reflects with one or the other. Yeah. Don't you have to grind for souls or something? 
Well, you can, but they're just used for level ups to get stat points, and your stat points really don't mean much oh. in the long run. All it means is what weapon can I wield? All right. Oh, there's the kicker. Yeah. <laughs> and if you already found the weapon that you're going to be running with, there's really no need. All right. True. You bring up Dark Souls gave me a thought. Okay. There's such stigma around grinding that some people would avoid something like the plague. But then you get something like Dark Souls where it's highly praised. Mm. Despite your kind of grind it's kind of a grind fest. In terms of gear, I mean. Yeah. Well, like I said, Dark Souls is hard to explain because you don't have to grind for anything. You can run through that game. I've seen it speedrun, yeah. where people have not stopped to have to grind anything. Yeah. And usually the community actually looks down upon you if you grind. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm sure there's people in the community who's like, oh, you grinded to a level 100. Wow, you didn't really play Dark Souls. And whatever, I played it, I beat it, I consider myself a Dark Souls fan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I guess in my sense, I wasn't grinding Dark Souls, I was farming Dark All Souls. Alright. Yeah. Like, one game I play that's kind of grindy is Stardew Valley. Okay. Because in order to make some... Wouldn't it be farming? Woo! I'm here all day. <laughs> Don't forget that. So am I. Don't forget to tip your waitress. <laughs> Alright, continue, Cody. Uh, well, in order... For some of the stuff you need to build your farm, you have to collect the resources. Right, this is a resource manager game. So, okay. yeah. There's going to be a lot of farming and grinding to get the resources. Yeah. Oh, just like real farming. I thought that was the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it, you can break down a lot of games that are have grind in them or farming in them. Yeah, like yeah. Assassin's Creed. The yes. last few Assassin's Creed games were like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where they have um, the uh, the missions are like we get diff be a higher difficulty than what your level would be at. Yeah. So I just would set through all the side missions, build get, build my rank up and build up my weapons. Then I'm going nice. and side. I mean, once I build my thing of a thing, I build up more than what's the last level would have been. Yeah. And I finished the the game within a few hours after I did that. Nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Like, even, like, fighting games have some grinding in them. Mm. Huh? Like, grinding for, like... New fighters or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. New fighters, like, costumes... The in-game currency to unlock new yeah. content. Yeah. Yeah. By doing rep repetitive fights over and over again. Mm -hmm. But the grind in a fighting game is more to encourage you to keep playing the game yeah. with friends, and eventually you're just not even going to notice that you have like a million dollars on you. Ah. If I only we were left work that way. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have any money because. <laughs> so it's popular in every game, and David touched on why a little bit. It is because game difficulty is hard, but we just mentioned a game that like you don't need to grind a fighting game, mm -hmm. but apparently that's a thing. So, the other thing is, it falls into game padding. 
Yeah, like I said, if there's on them no content. Yeah. There's not enough content. You make people redo a repetitive task so that you pad it the game play time. Yeah. Which is a problem if the padding's more than the game itself. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, you're right. If too much padding makes the game horrible, but not enough padding makes the game quick. Yeah. You gotta find that balance. <laughs> You gotta find that balance, and that's where grinding comes in handy. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and nothing against grinding, because if the grinding's fun and entertaining, yeah. then you really don't notice that you're grinding. Yeah. yeah true. true. I, I think the games you tend to notice it in are like JRPGs. Well, RPGs in general. Oh, RPGs yeah. in general, oh, yeah. because you, you get tired of fighting the same group of enemies over and over oh, again. Yeah. Just like you get tired of fighting the same enemy in a fighter. Well, there's, the roster only has so many characters. Yeah. I mean, if you're stuck fighting the same one, you'd probably get a bit tired. Oh, yeah. That's why fighting games, at least for their grind, is you fight the different rosters through... Like an arcade mode and that, and that's where you get your money. Right. <laughs> so, it avoids, oh, you gotta fight this guy over and over again. No. You're gonna fight the roster over and over again, but you can pick a different character to be, too. Mm -hmm. Challenge yourself. Be that uh, huge tank guy that you're not really good with. Yeah. Okay, yeah. JRPGs kind of have a problem of your characters are kind of set to what they do. You can't change your strategy. Yeah, that's kind of what I don't like about JRPGs. Oh, they have been getting better at that. Oh, yeah. No, they have the party swap system. Where... Yeah, party swap, class change. Yeah, so. You're not as committed as you were before. No, that means that you can't really do a party of the same guy. No. That rarely works. <laughs> Four white mages? That'll never work. <laughs> so, and Bill, you've been quiet, so I'm going to pick on you right now. <laughs> uh, what games have you noticed grinding in other than Assassin's Creed? Um. Hmm. Some well, I'll see if this counts. Okay. Uh, baseball would bring your stats up, like increase like your swim power and all that. So how would you have to actually do that? Do you just keep playing matches until well, well, your character stops being sucky at something? Okay. Yeah. Well, what you do it's through the trim, the uh, road for the show. So like you do like batting cages and training. Uh, okay. So. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure that like, that sure does that. count because you can grind if you can grind that. Yeah. If you're like, well, I'm gonna spend five times in the training batting cages yeah. to get this guy's uh, stats up, or I can do this as many times as I need before the next game. Um, yeah, I'm just... I know it's most of the sports games that have that have a limit to yeah. like, how many times you can do it before the next game. Yeah. Um. I'm just referring to Fight Night Round 3, where yes. it had a training thing you could do between matches, yeah. but... Oh, yeah, and then same with You only pick, like, yeah. two of the three. Yeah, same with UFC. Uh, you get tra so many weeks to train before your next fight. Yeah. I'm thinking in the other games. But GTA... I mean, like, something GTA nine. grinding for money? Yeah. Yeah, I think... Mean, that was one I was going to bring up. It doesn't feel like a grind because you're not really trying to get money. No. And you're just doing random stuff just yeah. to get it. But it's You're grinding, but you don't realize you're grinding. Yes, and that's the best kind of grind. Yeah. Mm, GTA, Saints Row. Saints Row had the, also the problem of grinding. Mm. As well as the problem of a collectathon, but we'll get into that another topic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
those are the ones I can think of right now. Like, I'm, kind of... I'm sure more will come to you. Cody, what games have you played that you noticed that there's a grind to them? Uh, the Batman games, a bit. Yes? Yeah. Grinding to get those power ups for the bat suit. Yeah. Yep. Um, no, the biggest one I know of is. Whoa! One big one I know of is Skyrim. Yes, you're not wrong. Yeah. I just never noticed. Because you've got to keep using that one skill to level it up. Yes. And, like, you've got to keep working it up to a specific number to be able to... If you thought it was bad in Skyrim, try Morrowind, where your ability oh, to use the weapon I know. is dependent on how skilled you are with oh, it. I know. I've seen it. <laughs> um. So, Billy's looking at me like I'm confused... Yeah. <laughs> so in Morrowind, say I took the longsword as my weapon, and say I had a 15 out of 100 in longsword. Yeah. This would mean I would rarely hit with the longsword. And the only way for me to uh, increase the longsword is to keep swinging a longsword until eventually that stack gets up, and the higher it keeps getting up, the more accurate it becomes. Okay. So just keep swinging away until you hit something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And that could be every hundred swings, it could go up a point. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> so grind fest. Grind or find someone who can raise the points of it. Um, oh, I did actually think of another game. Yeah. Like any, like, Call of Duty or, like, online shooter. Yeah. For experience points. Yeah, see, I was wondering about the shooters. Is there a grind to them? And apparently, I'm... There is. Yeah, well, um, Rainbow Six Siege, um, the experience, um, points in these, I forget the other points you get to buy, like, new characters and experience points, um, because at one point you need to have to be able to at least level 5 to host your own game online. Uh, oh, wow, so yeah. So, uh, just... People are going to grind for that. Yeah. David. Well, since Cody brought up Batman, I'll bring up Spider-Man. Yeah, oh, right. uh, yeah mm -hmm. the new Spider-Man game. Yeah, you have to get, you have to grind for experience to get any ability, and you have to find tokens or other things to upgrade other parts. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, grind and collectathons, lovely. <laughs> yeah, together. Mm -hmm. Together in some unholy matrimony. <laughs> well, if you want a grind fest, there's this old game called Seventh Saga. <laughs> yes, was, I can remember this. That was infamous for grinding due to a programmer oversight when it got released over here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, they fiddled with the stats, so. Oh, you already know this. I, I, but go ahead, and our yeah. listeners probably don't. Yeah, and I have no idea who the game is because you, you said the game, all three of you guys recognized it. I'm like, huh? It it's a old... Super Nintendo game. Yeah, an old one. Yeah. Oh, I had a Super Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Basically... Good for you, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> Want to go for a ride in the car? <laughs> 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 I proceed with your story about the Seth and Saga and the program error. Oh, for some ungodly reason, they decide to alter the stack growth. I guess to simplify it in some way. The problem is that they only did that to the playable characters, not to the enemies. Oh no. Or the rival characters. Which is why it's almost impossible to beat the rival characters, because they got bonuses. You win. You don't have, and you were supposed to have them. Ooh, no. <laughs> Making it way harder than it needed to be. Yep. <laughs> Ouch. Way to go, developer. 
So, one genre that I didn't think would ever get a grind fest, but apparently it's starting to get a grind fest, is the freaking platformers. <laughs> How so? Um, there are um, some platformers that have kind of like a collectible system or an upgrade system. Uh, you gotta replay a level over and over again. Yeah. Or you can play a level over and over again to get whatever this currency is. And then with that you can buy better stats or something for your character to make them jump further, higher. Or hit harder. Or hit harder. Yeah. Um, beat em ups also fell into this too where they used to be there's no grind to a beat em up you're just kind of going level to level now you're go coming back grinding for currency and then buying upgrades thank you river city ransom yeah thanks for that <laughs> <laughs> and double dragon neon has this All right. i love double dragon neon but there is that problem of yeah. grinding I don't know how many times I beat the snot out of Skullmageddon just to get Mithril so I can upgrade my tape deck. <laughs> I, I, I think I have a feel, uh, have an inkling in how you felt with that. I had to do the same thing. Yeah. And, yeah. It's Skullmageddon! Yeah, I know, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing that so many times? I felt sorry for him because I was up to where like one fireball pretty much wrecks him. <laughs> it's like, does his pose taunt and I just hit him with a fireball? He's like, oh, please no more. <laughs> Something funny? Yeah, just just you beating on Skull again. <laughs> like, I think the first time I met him, like I'm a scrawny like nerd kid, and then like when I stopped grinding, I am like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> levels of muscle. <laughs> There's got to been a headlock. <laughs> Stop nerding yourself. Stop nerding yourself. Stop yourself. <laughs> So, the next question that everyone's going to probably be asking is, why grind? Well... To be able to make sure you're capable to get cast character? Yeah, no, I'll touch on that a little bit. I'm going around the room, but you're not wrong. Uh, so basically I grind up a Let's you know, take that out of context, everyone. <laughs> so, I grind slash farm when my characters get wiped out to try and, you know, get them. So, you keep going until you hit that wall. Yeah. All right. We'll come back to that one, too. Yeah. I guess to show progress, that you're making progress. Okay, so you just like seeing the stat numbers go up. And the abilities. And the abilities. Yeah. I grind because I was like, I like to see what the next ability is. Yeah. If you have like, oh, you can unlock this at level 20, guess what I'm going to do? Get yeah. to level 20 so I can see this. Yep. Because it could be valuable. It could be valuable. It could be useless, actually, but I'm going to, I want to know before I continue. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have that ability that I'm not supposed to have at this point. And this kind of plays into what Billy mentioned. Um, it is kind of a power fantasy. Yeah. Like, when I you're playing your character, you want your character to be the best, strongest guy in the planet. Take on any challenge with ease and save the day with minimal effort. Yeah. So when you get into those fights where you're half dead trying to just stay alive before... Um, during a boss fight, you're kind of going, huh, there's got to be a way to make myself look stronger than that. 
Because kind of the opposite example. He goes until he hits that wall. And then he comes back stronger. He plays the Batman route. (laughs) (laughs) Do I get my back broken? In a sense. You get defeated and you come back stronger and more prepared. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. (laughs) Unless you're fighting a puzzle boss or a gimmick boss. Yeah. Karate doesn't really help that much. Yeah. Yeah, There's some actual gimmick bosses that you can actually brute force, which is kind of scary. Mm -hmm. That's funny. If you grind hard enough, you can beat any boss. Yeah. You either didn't figure out the boss's weakness or you didn't grind hard enough. And David and us are the, uh, in the same boat of we like to see the next stat increase or the next ability and line of abilities. Yeah. Can't argue with that. No. <laughs> so, there's the reasons, most reasons people will grind. You get the new best thing, give yourself that power fantasy of I'm the strongest thing in the planet. Or, I just got my ass kicked. I'm making sure that doesn't happen again. Yeah. Hope you saved. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing worse than, like, getting to a boss that you didn't save for. Yeah. And lose. And then lose. That's basically it for the grinding. So let's focus on farming. Because farming takes on another meaning. As in constantly gathering resources. And then sell those resources for massive profit. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And this is more of the um, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that's, or I really want that cool car. Yeah, I'm gonna crash in five minutes, but my god, I want like I'm gonna look cool for five minutes. For five minutes, I'm gonna look awesome. Car, I want that tank. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, nothing beats just going down the street with in a tank in Grand Theft Auto. Yep, my favorite missions. Because no one's gonna stop you. Yeah. Cops like there he is. I'm in a tank. Like, what exactly are you going to do? Call the army? I don't have enough high star ratings right yet, sir. <laughs> well, give me a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to get a new car in a game. Yeah. And then trash it five seconds later. Just like what would happen in real life with Cody. Really? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I grinded so much money in order to get a car in, like, Grand Theft Auto. I don't know. And, like, I got into it and crashed into the wall. Right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's part of the course with you. Yeah, that no, was... Cody, hours of grind just for that one minute of satisfaction. Or I'd have it quickly taken away. (laughs) Hope you enjoyed it, Cody. (laughs) Well, for the five seconds I had it. It looked nice. (laughs) As it embedded itself into the wall. (laughs) And then the next one looked nice too. Yeah. Until it crashed into the mall window. Anyways, we can yeah. keep yeah. going on with Cody's tragic stories of cars, but yeah. that's yeah. not what we're here for. No. We're here to farm, damn it. I got my hoe and my axe and my hammer. Let's go. I've got a shovel. Nice. <laughs> I got a shotgun. What the hell are you farming? (laughs) (laughs) 
He's getting rid of the crows. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but, no, farming again, like I said, is more voluntary than it is... Necessary. Necessary. Yeah. So this is... You're willing putting yourself through this. Of course you do. You gotta have a great farm. Yeah. Okay. We really gotta stop the farm jokes. <laughs> Oh, no, I had somewhere going with that. Just, you know, like when... Like in Harvest Moon stuff, you can create your own whatever. You gotta make it so your whatever is better than mm, everyone else's. else's. Yeah. Mm. You don't have to, but you gotta. Yeah. <laughs> like Dark Cloud series said that. It was like you're supposed to restore towns. Yeah. You can, you, all you had to do was do the minimum requirements, but some people went... All the way, yeah. <laughs> like, sure, like, <laughs> it's like you know, I need five thousand gold to uh, rebuild the town to working conditions. Oh no, here's fifty thousand. I want the best town possible. Actually, it's more like you only had to make this many houses. No, I want them all. <laughs> I want a metropolis here, <laughs> not a little village. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you do realize there's only a hundred of us, so yeah. building <laughs> those buildings are going to go unused for centuries. <laughs> so I had a thought there, but I kind of lost it. <laughs> Power for the course? Power for the course. There. I'm trying to think of other games that have, like, farming in quotation marks right. that aren't just farming games. Like simulation games? Yeah. Or any game there, you don't have to grind, but you're going to anyway because that's just your human nature. Okay, got yeah, it. The last couple two movie games look kind of like that. To like, you gotta look, uh. Like, uh, drop for weapons and everything. Yeah. Like, you need, like, like, am like, animal skins and. You read my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and, so. Uh, and Far Cry. Okay. So, I'm just gonna throw a wrench in your spot yeah. here. So, could you say you could beat the Tomb Raider games without upgrading any of the weapons? Possibly, yeah. Okay. And does, uh, like, upgrading obviously makes it easier. Yeah, I mean, it makes it easier. So, I'm talking about uh, Far Cry. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's the example I'm looking for. Yeah. Is, sure... Um, you could do it without grinding or yeah. farming, but farming makes does make it easier. Yeah. In an example of Tomb Raider. Sure, that grenade launcher would be nice it's attached to my gun, but I don't need it. Cody needs this. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. That's a freaking grenade launcher. Yeah. I don't know, same with the Far Cry, like... Same, it's like, I think the same thing like grinding and farming. Yeah. Because I usually, when I play it, I try to upgrade at least a heavy machine gun. So, I can take down enemies pretty easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And upgrade my base weapon, and make sure I get enough, um, I increase my health and everything. Nope, fair, fair. Can I maybe think of the old Ratchet and Clank game? <laughs> well, it has grind with like the bolts, but then there are the golden bolts you don't really need to get, but they give you the gold version of the weapons. Okay, and gold version of the weapon does. They're just better versions. Yeah. Right? You don't need to get them, but they're stronger. So I guess if you uh. favored a weapon, you can get the gold version. Yeah. Okay. And then there's the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's an acronym for rip you a new one. It's basically a gun that fires out like a, a barrage of missiles. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, the first one, if you get that, 
you pretty much broke the game. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah. Makes a lot of fights, even the final boss fight, a lot easier. Yeah. The boss is probably like, I prepared all this stuff. Hey, what is he? Ow. Oh. I just broke the game again, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving up. I'm done. So, this kind of falls into my problem of I will grind and farm to get an ability. I don't need this ability, but by God, does it make the game so much easier. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so much easier, it's close to you never lose. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going yeah. with. <laughs> oh, I have the nuke spell now. Nice. <laughs> Why would I use anything else? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I have Ultima. Yeah. Say goodbye. So, we're just going to finish off the final thoughts of grinding and what your take is on should a game have grinding, what's too much grinding? Hmm. For me, it's having to jump up five levels or five abilities, like five or ten levels per area. That's definitely too much. That is a little too much. Yeah. Especially if it's a very tedious level up system. Yeah. I am playing Metopia of all things. Alright. And that has a horrible grind. Ugh. Uh, what now? Metopia. It's a free, free DS game where you make your Miis into... It's a JRPG using the Mii Maker. Oh. Wait, is that the one you used to play? Probably. Okay. I just got back into it there oh, recently. Nice. Now I kind of remembered why I got out of it. Grindy? Grindy. Like each new area you had to grind like crazy? Not each new area, but there's, I guess, farming because there's rewards for getting characters level 50 with the max level. Oh, oh so it's, it's a character rotation thing. Yeah. So get this, uh, someone in this class to level 50 and you get an achievement unlocked. Alright. And then to get gear in that, you have to go through an area and hope that buddy wants to spend money to buy a new item. <laughs> and if he doesn't, you gotta go through another area and hope next time you get to the inn, he wants to buy a new item. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> There's no real shop system. Ugh. All right, final thoughts. Mm. Mm, I don't mind grinding, but if it's like, but if, there's, if it's too much. Yeah, I think we can all agree. Too yeah. much grind is going to kill yeah. your game. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's like oh, you can't go this level, you can't do the next level until you do this level, and your level is like twenty levels below. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess we didn't touch on that one. Uh. Level locks. Yeah, those suck. Yeah. <laughs> Where you just explained it. You can't go here until you're this level. Yeah. So off you go to grind. And yeah. that's a forced grind. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I like it better if it's a recommended level. Yeah. yeah. It's like you should be level twenty for this, but you can still you can have fun anyway. Yeah. yeah. Have you're oh you're level ten, have fun. Yeah. I mean, you're, <laughs> You're probably gonna die, but unless you're really you got a winning strategy going. Yeah. Go to berserk style. Uh, it's like, how the hell did you win? And a winning strategy, I found out a combination that works with my team. Yeah. And then you feel more better because you beat the level requirement below the level requirement. Yeah. <laughs> level twenty. Pff. Please, I beat at level 10. I'm special. <laughs> <laughs> I am a strategic genius. <laughs> Got any final thoughts? Uh, I don't mind. Gotta mind it as long as it's not tedious and mind numbing 
boring. Fair enough. Kind of like, kind of like the games where you don't even notice you're doing it. Yeah. Like Grand Theft Auto, for example. There's some kind of zen relaxation to it, though. Yeah, like, you don't realize yeah. you're doing it. No, when I okay. will Sorry. again, King of the Grind. Mm -hmm. I don't mind just sitting there doing a what would be the most boring task to anyone on the planet of the Earth. But I will throw on either a soundtrack or listen to music or something and just keep doing that over and over again. Smart. <laughs> nice. And just be in my own little world as my character is slowly getting stronger in the game. I should try that. I recommend it if like you don't want to grind something. Just uh, put on a pair of headphones and listen to music. <laughs> or a podcast or anything. Yeah, I'll try that. And David, final thoughts since I kind of skipped you. Actually, you didn't. Yeah. I... Well, normally I do myself last on these, but... Okay. <laughs> well, there's something to be said about... Well, I'll just go back to progressing. When you grind and you get that level or you get that gear, there's something satisfying about it. Oh yeah, once you reach the whatever it is you were working so hard to get, yeah, you feel an accomplishment. Yeah. So, I guess also I don't mind grinding if the reward for grinding is significant yeah. enough to make it worthwhile. Right. Where, hey, this ability rocks, or hey, I feel a lot stronger now, or. Yeah. Hey, I can buy that upgrade that makes my gun nice and shiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that reminds me of a story. What's well, unfortunately, we're all out of time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell your story. Oh, don't worry, it'll be quick. You idiot! <laughs> it'll be quick. Went through this whole grind of leveling up. The end. <laughs> and all I got was a damn potion. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> All right. This has been a Starman Debates. I am your host, Devin. Billy, dig it. I'm Cody. See you later. You ripped off. <laughs> oh, I'm here. See ya. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Tune in. Cody won't be around for much longer. Yeah. <laughs>